Hi everybody. We're going to do something a little bit different today. Uh, it's a beautiful day, so I'm going to do this outside, which of course means I can't do anything related to the town. But I thought, since it came up in a recent blog post, the various fire apparatus that we have in town, that I would give you kind of a walkthrough of what they are and what we've done to them. I highly recommend that you go to our blog, bricksburg.com. There's links down on the page there. And uh, I think the most recent post actually features many of these trucks on a very large fire scene. It's a repair shop. It's an inferno. And I think it's spread to the pizza shop or something like that. I forget. It. Pictures were taken a long time ago. Anyway, uh, this is not actually all of them. I have some more off to the side here, but uh, we'll just go down the line. As I mentioned in that blog post, all of our trucks are numbered. And uh, there's not people, there aren't firefighters in most of these. I didn't stage any or anything like that, so I think they must have been outside the trucks when I grabbed the trucks out of the town. But that's okay. Generally speaking, we have the fire department divided up into a couple different squads. So there's two ladder trucks, obviously, and, uh, well, there's pumper trucks, I guess, in real life. There's an aerial truck, and then we have some heavy rescue trucks, which are these two, which kind of respond to car accidents and things like that. And then there's two chief vehicles, and of course, this first responder guy here. Now there are more, like I said, in a box off to the side here, which I'll get to. They're kind of like the specialty units. But first we'll start with the regular units. And, uh, and they're numbered, like I said, is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And there's little stickers on the uh, fender of every truck. I don't know if you can see that, but I'll show you close up as we get through them. So this came as part of a set originally with this truck. I will have to look up the set number and we'll post it in the comments or in the uh, information if I can find it but we we modified it we well this one's upside down <laughs> I'm gonna modify it again so I found a way of printing our own stickers uh, years ago and so we added uh, markings to, to different things so here's you know he's got oh he's got his fire department markings on him and uh, kind of a safety vest sort of look and he's sort of like a fast responder to I don't know car accidents, things like that. Moving down the line, this is truck number one. This came with the fire station set that uh, is in town, which I think probably needs an overhaul. This one's a little dusty. We've modified the front of it to include a push bar and some additional lights underneath the nose. Uh, it still has the original wheels. These original wheels actually work really well with the fire department because they're red. So it's like they have matching hubs already. Uh, we changed, I think on the original set, this uh, hose reel is in the middle of the back. And we put it off to one side and that made room for, well, of course, you still have the hose reel. But by doing that, we gained room for a control panel, which would be for radios and things like that, since this is a chief's vehicle. And there's control panel inside there. And, you know, additional antennas, sirens. Um, I'm trying to think what else we did. Oh, we, we added these like reflective stickers to the back. And the, the, the roof lights are a little different than on the original set. One thing I will note is I received this set when I was one of the first Lego sets I had. I want to say I was probably in um, first or second grade, probably second grade. And I wasn't so good with putting stickers on. And I tried to move that one. I don't know if you can see that. So that little nick in the sticker is my second grade uh, self trying to fix the sticker. Well, I learned pretty quickly that you get one shot, at, at least at the old stickers. The old stickers uh, stick really well. Uh, this is another sticker that we made ourselves to, to dress up the back end. But like this number one sticker is original and it looks, you know, pretty perfect. So I don't know what they did to the stickers in recent years, but they're not as good. So this is a heavy rescue unit, like we said, that we, uh, like I said. Uh, it responds to car crashes and things like that. And I'm going to take this off. So it has like a, you know, one of these uh, visors for oxygen. And I think that's the only loose thing. I don't want stuff falling off while I'm trying to show it to you. This came in a set. Uh, you know, I honestly don't remember what it, what it came. I think, did it come with? No, it didn't come with the fire station. I don't know what it came with. The number on there is not correct, though. Uh, that is from yet another set. I don't even remember. Uh, so whatever that set is. Oh, and, and here's where you can see. Oh, I have these out of order. Well, there you can see the sticker. This is unit three. This actually should be 
this they're all yeah there we go um and so it's got you know a upgraded light bar and some other sort of industrial looking units on the top of course it has a winch it's sort of like if you had to pull a car or stabilize something you could use this hook to do so and it has an additional hook on the back like a tow hook for moving things around including its hose reel and there is a looks like a searchlight inside the compartment there so this would be a great truck if you were looking for somebody lost in the woods this might be what you would you know a car that went over the banks that kind of thing uh, not sure what's missing here probably well it's got a radio on this side so maybe that's supposed to be an axe like I said, I just grabbed these out of town, so they're kind of as is. All right, we skipped over Unit 2, so we'll go back to it. This will be the other Chief's car. It also has searchlight in it and one of these uh, Sawzall extrication tools, which I think actually normally was riding on this truck, so I'm not really sure why it's in this one, but whatever. I don't make the rules in town. So there you can see that's Unit 2. Uh, this came in a set with... Also with this truck, I think it was the motorcycle and these three were originally a set. So we've changed the lights around on the top, a little more aerodynamic, and um, added some to the bottom side, so you have more flashy blinky on the front. Give it a more functional pickup bed, and it's got some pieces there that you can set up as a barrier in it if you need to. So that might be sent out to, um, you know, block traffic again, help with car accidents, things like that. But that's that's one of the chiefs vehicles. All right, you already did truck three. This is now truck four. Is the number on? Oh, it's on the, uh, it's on the glass. So this is sort of a Land Rover-ish sort of a, sort of a vehicle. I think that was the idea anyway. Um, again, these are stickers that we made ourselves. So that's why the, um, the flame, the, is it the yellow, the yellow flame is not quite as vibrant because this is actually a transparent sticker and this is uh, sort of an overland heavy rescue vehicle uh, you could send this by itself to a car crash which we have in some of the blog posts again if you go to bricksburg.com there's tons of still pictures there um, it's also missing oh no I think that's where the hose clips on it's just not in place well anyway we'll leave it loose uh, so it's got some, you know, ability to kind of push and shove things around too with some heavy-duty bars and bumpers. And uh, it has a compartment here with a saw. Uh, so the sawzall is next to it. And inside, all kinds of stuff inside. There's actually a ton of room in the back of this truck. So there's oxygen tank back there. It's another one of these visor pieces. Fire extinguisher which is the easiest Lego set ever. It's two pieces. Uh, another searchlight, also a two-piece. And an axe. And all of that, all of that is carried into this truck. Probably, uh, this isn't a set. This was a, um, this was just one that we made using spare parts, which is why we had to make all the stickers. But, so it has a ton of storage in it, which is cool. The one downside uh, to this truck is that it doesn't have functioning doors, which is kind of a bummer because that's really about the only thing that's keeping it from being like kind of a, like a Lego set quality. So anyway, um, and those stickers, some of those stickers are reused from other stuff, I think. All right, so this was the truck that came with Unit 2 and the motorcycle. We have, uh, oh, it is now Unit 5, working our way up the ladder here. And see, I think we added these front lights to it. Uh, we added some kind of mass to the back of the cab here to make it bigger because before it just like dropped off here. And that was kind of lame. And you see there's like a, well, I'll show you this way. It's kind of like a roof piece that we put in there just to give it a little bit more bulk. Added some lights to the carousel that the um, ladder is on. The ladder itself is a three-part ladder which I think originally it was a two-part ladder, so we gave it some more capability that way. And uh, added more stickers and lights onto the emergency lights onto the back. It has a hose reel and it has a compartment, which probably has a surprise. Let's see. Oh, it's stuck in there. There's a, there's a fire helmet in there, but the driver's already got one on, so I don't know, I don't know why he has that. 
Anyway, so that's that truck. And then this came with this truck in the fire station, in the original fire station set. Uh, it's also been pretty heavily modified. We've added emergency lights to the front. I think maybe we added the grill. I don't remember. And uh, we've added some running boards to it. This is original, this setup. And we added a big sticker to the back that came off of a newer set that we didn't like, but I think it really dresses up the fire engine, this fire engine, really nicely. Added some more flashy blinky lights on the ladder carousel. I don't know if that's the right term for it or not. Those are the original Lego stickers uh, for the pumper controls. So that's pretty cool. I always liked that. And of course, we added a running board to, for them to stand on, and they're doing that. One downside of this truck is it is so old, the ladder has gotten brittle over time, and you can see that top section is missing little bits on it. I think uh, because we added the top section to it, it doesn't clear the doors of the firehouse very well, and I think that might be what happened there. I don't remember. Um, I, I can tell you right now the fire station doesn't have the roll-up doors on it, so I'm thinking there's maybe a connection there. And then we added those slant, uh, sloped lights to the roof instead of the kind of lame setup that it came with. It's also a three-section ladder, so it can go just as high as the other truck, um, which I think at the time of the blog post I mentioned, uh, it didn't, so that's an improvement. We talked about this one in an earlier video. So this is handy old Unit 7, which is our aerial truck. Uh, it needs some upgrades, frankly. It's kind of, needs a little bit more razzmatazz to it, but uh, we did add some details around the front and change the way the ladder uh, controls are, or the, I think it turn around, the way the hose controls are on the back of the truck. And it does have this nice uh, little detail sticker on the back. A few little things like that, but it's more or less, it's more or less the way it came. All right, so, well, I said we usually run them as squads, so like this would be considered squad one. These two are generally the exceptions. They're the heavy rescue trucks, so they would be kind of their own independent thing. Um, generally, that truck pairs with that truck. This truck pairs with that truck, and then we have the ladder truck, which kind of goes as needed. So I guess it's kind of an independently dispatched truck. So these three would go out kind of on their own for calls. Uh, the ladder, or the aerial truck would never go by itself, obviously. It would always be sent for a larger fire scene. So one of these other units would be at the fire scene already, if not both of them. And then the motorcycle just kind of, I don't know, I guess he patrols around <laughs> looking for trouble. I'm not really sure. Uh, but these, these two heavy rescue trucks could be independently dispatched as things are needed. So how do I keep that straight? Well, or not just I, how did Tyler keep it straight? Well, it's fairly easy. Uh, this was originally a set, like I mentioned, with motorcycles. So those two logically paired together. And then these two came with the um, original fire station set. So they kind of paired off together. And one of the other sets that I received when I was a kid, which has had some modification done to it, is this fire helicopter. Uh, again, I don't know what the set number is. I'll have to look it up and add it later. But that's how your dude gets in. And it's kind of a unique front that way. They did do a police helicopter at some point that was patterned on this design. And I believe originally these hoses, I think, fastened in to the back here, which is, you can still see, there's like a headlight opening there below the, kind of behind the axe. And uh, on this side, it's holding a fire extinguisher. Uh, I guess in case he lands somewhere, he'd have something he could do. But the back of this has been modified to appear that it has like a tank on it, which is not original to the set. In fact, I think this actually isn't a Lego piece. I think we got that from a garage sale and it's some kind of compatible piece. And it's put on, it's kind of unusual. So it mounts vertically on there. And we had originally had this as sort of the, one of those air deflectors on that yellow Lego semi that I showed you in an earlier video. 
and then uh, we didn't like that, so now it's it's on here as part of a tank. But you know, I think we added a few stickers, but more or less this is. I think this uh, engine detail on the top might also be added. I really don't remember what the original set looked like anymore. It's been so, these are the normal sets as far as I'm concerned. And then one of the other original sets back from the days. Uh, oh, this is kind of messy here. Is this fire boat? These actually float. They have these uh, ridiculously large weighted pieces that go. Excuse me. That go along the bottom here. And I think that this had two or three. It might have had three. And when those weights were on, it actually was buoyant. And you could put it in the bathtub and, and all that. But I was always concerned about the stickers. So, you know, because they're not supposed to get wet, really. Um, that has the set number on it, if you want to look it up. So, other than some yellowing, this is pretty close to original. I think we added some stuff here on the front like I believe the hoses were not part of the original set and some of the controls there this mast was original but we added the radar and the big horns to it same thing with the uh, exhaust stack there we added some detail that wasn't on the original one the controls are the same as what the pumper truck had as you may recall uh, and that kind of shows that they're of the same era like they're basically the same controls. In fact, they might even be in the same order. No, <laughs> they're, in, they're in a completely different order because I didn't build them at the same time, I guess. Well, there you go. You can't, you can't cross train your sea firefighters with your land firefighters. They won't know what they're doing. Uh, and then it has multiple hoses. And um, the back was originally, I think, just this platform. And I don't know, oops. I don't know that it actually did anything it's kind of a weird, it's kind of a weird design choice, frankly. I think the idea, and it's always been finicky like this. Uh, I think the idea was that it would give them some altitude if they, there we go, if they wanted to be shooting the foam or whatever, like, down, so they could raise up the nozzle and shoot down. But it's kind of strange. Uh, and then we added, you know, like, there's this dudes in the way. And, and there's like the fire emblem there and and um, I don't know I think there's some other details that I'd have to look back at the original set to see what was what was changed and then uh, this is the fire scuba guy I don't, I don't know why you would have a fireman go underwater to put out fire maybe he rescues people um, <laughs> I'll have to ask Tyler at some point so there's there's that this is just made out of spare parts. So this is not a set or anything particularly serious, but it's sort of a small fire rescue boat. And uh, it does have like a, a winch on it for dragging stuff. Uh, those are the engine engine pieces that I guess kind of go down into the water. Uh, it looks like a mixer, like you're making, like you're mixing a cake mix. And then you put the mixer down, make your cake mix. Anyway. You can see the number there. That is some clue as to the original set that that piece came from. And uh, But yeah, this is kind of like a smaller boat, I guess, that would roam around the harbor to take care of trouble in the harbor that you didn't want to call out the big boat for. And then the last unit I have to show you, which is also missing a firefighter, weirdly, uh, is this one. And this is uh, stationed at the airport. It stays at the airport all the time. It's got a little bit different emergency lighting scheme in that it has red and blue, which is something that only our police cars otherwise have. Of course, it has this nozzle. Uh, in real life, this would be a foam truck, so the hose would be somewhat less effective. You would only use the nozzle. And in a real airport fire truck, of course, they just shoot out of the nozzle. They don't really have to get out for a while. Um, I mentioned the Lego stickers. That's a newer generation sticker, not nearly as good. And this has a fairly large compartmented area on the inside. That includes equipment for, I guess, cutting into the side of an aircraft if needed. And then uh, you can pretend those are falcon wing doors, right? Like our test. And then on this side is like heavier duty uh, rescue 
breathing gear, uh, air tanks, and, and uh, the mask. So that's kind of a cool detail. Also doesn't have opening doors, much like uh, truck number four. But it, this is a Lego set. So I think that that is basically unchanged, but we keep it at the airport, which is why you'll notice it has different markings, a different color scheme, and of course, it also backs up our space uh, program area. So those are, oh, sorry about that. So those are all the vehicles of our fire department, uh, including the specialty ones. The only ones I didn't show you were, uh, there's one that's at, at the racetrack, which is kind of a emergency vehicle for the racetrack, but it's not strictly fire, so I left it there. Oh, I know, one of the other modifications we made to this ship is that it has a very flat front now, instead of those leaning, the leaning forward windshield. I don't know if you can see that. So it's got like a it's straight flat, which is kind of, I don't know, it's kind of different. And I don't know why. <laughs> That's something Tyler changed. I don't know why. So uh, again, go to the Bricksburg blog and you'll see some of these trucks in action at various rescue scenes that Tyler set up mostly and then I took pictures of. And uh, we use cotton balls for the smoke and it's actually fairly convincing. And I will endeavor to get you another video as soon as I can. We're also beekeepers, so this is a busy time of year for us. We're harvesting our honey and getting that ready for sale and things like that. So uh, between that and my day job. Oh, one other detail I was going to mention. So we have all the sea firefighters have white helmets. And then neither of them are here. But the commanders of the or the that run in units one and two, the squad commanders, they have silver helmets and slightly different uniforms, so they can be identified with who they're in charge of. And then the overall fire chief also has a white helmet, and I think he might have epaulets. I don't remember. I didn't see him down in the town. I know the police chief has the shoulder epaulets. I don't remember if the fire chief does or not, but. Uh, for a while there, LEGO only made sets where the firefighters had black helmets, and then at some point they changed their mind and they made them all with white helmets. And we were trying to figure, and then the newer ones, I think including this one, they came with silver helmets. And so we were trying to figure out how do you divide them up so that the helmets would denote uh, the hierarchy of how the fire department was organized. And that's what we came up with was that when on land, the, um, and I should say, you, you, can't, you can't see the chief of the boat but he's got like a, there you go, he's got a white hat. He doesn't have a helmet, he just has the hat. So the fire chief, um, that's, how, that's how on scene you would be able to tell, is the squad commanders have the silver helmets, the main chief has a white helmet, unless you're talking about the uh, fire boat, and then it, everybody has white, but the captain has a hat instead of a helmet. So anyway, that's how we tried to make sense of Lego changing their mind. And then we have different uniforms depending on uh, what truck or what squad they're in. Because there's a lot, there's, there's a number of different uh, uniforms they've had. And so the differences are fairly subtle. He's looking that way because he's on the side of the truck. The differences are fairly subtle, but they, they're there. Um, like I know we have, a, one of the chiefs has blue sleeves, for example. And then there's, there's, there are yet more variations on that uniform like I have this guy here I can show you so he's got yet another uniform um, style so that's kind of how they're all divided out so they all kind of make sense within their own like subgroup all right well thank you for watching I appreciate you taking the time and sticking through it and I'll get back at it